Hi, good afternoon, everybody. This is Emma Darcy from uh, the equine webinar I did for Horseport Ireland. I just wanted to show you, you know, what LinkedIn is about. Just a quick video. Um, like I spoke on the webinar, LinkedIn is really your professional profile. Um, a lot of people use it for their CV, their resume online. And for a lot of young students leaving college or indeed, if you're looking for a new job, this is where you need to be because a lot of recruiters are are hiring or searching for people we'll say, on LinkedIn. So it's a really good idea in general to have a profile here, whether it is you're looking for a job, um, you're a young student or a graduate or later on, um, or indeed if you own your own business, it's imperative that you do have um, your profile here. And one of the reasons are, and I had a couple of questions from the webinar all around SEO and SEO for LinkedIn is really good. So if you have your profile here and you fill it out, you need to fill it out completely. It means it'll have the words in relation to the business that you're in. And when I'm searching then on Google, I will be then able to find you in terms of, you know, because actually what happens is when people Google me, they tend to find my LinkedIn account before they find my website. So I would, and I'm saying that in, in the context of, you know, how important it is to have a LinkedIn account. So here we have the main feed for LinkedIn. So you can see here, if I scroll down, you know, anybody that I'm connected to or any general stories are popping up here and advertising as well. Um, it's more business related. So it's not typically um, like Facebook. Mind you, it is changing in some regards. Um, but for the most part, it is more professional. Um, so here you can see at the top, then you've got um, your homepage, again, your network. So these are the people you're connected to, your jobs, if you're looking for a job or you're you're wanting to hire somebody. Messaging is private messaging and notifications there is anybody that has um, engaged with you in some regard. Here then you've got me is your profile and work then is lots of different apps there. If you want to do advertising and so on and so forth. And sales navigator then is kind of more complicated as well, not really, but if you were looking to reach out to businesses as in big businesses and you, you don't have emails and so on and so forth, uh, Sales Navigator is a way, um, oh, you, now I want you to pay about 70 euros a month for it, um, and it's a way of LinkedIn allowing you to access, um, that is to say you can engage or send an email, which is an email on LinkedIn, to people you normally wouldn't um, be able to engage with. So it can be helpful in that regard. But I would say to, it's more B2B, business to business, and possibly not so much in use in the equine industry. Now, it depends obviously what you're doing, but for the most part, you probably wouldn't need that. Need that. Now, there is a, a free version. If you want to try it, it's 30 days uh, for free, but just make sure you do, you change um, and you don't get charged if you don't want to use it. So if I want to use uh, LinkedIn, then I can post a photograph, a video, an event. Um, and I was saying this in particular for people that are running um, horse shows or different events and um, maybe you're raising money or something like that or maybe you're um, working for Eventing Ireland SGI or you know kind of local events whatever create an event there because people will see it and it gets more visibility than if you just post it and in fact if you do both you double down on it you can also write an article and I spoke about this in the webinar and the reason for that is it's, it's really important that you do so if you click in here it's very much like if you're on Word do a Word document so I have to click if it's me if I'm masquerading as somebody else, but if you have a uh, business accounts, it'll come up here as well. So I suppose just to highlight that this is my personal account. Um, I also have a business account, which is the same thing, and I can post in there. Now, I won't spend too long because obviously you have the webinar as well, but you can get a cover image. That's a long image. If you go to canva.com, it'll have the sizing there. That could be, say, for example, you could have a great picture of a horse and so on and so forth. You just need to make sure that's obvi obviously a landscape in other words, it's an image that will fit this particular type um, of shape. Um, then you go down here and you can start writing whatever it is you like and it will say your name. Now, if you put in an image, make sure that if you it's not your image, make sure that you put in, it'll give you an option to put in who whose image it is just so that you give them the credit for that. That's very important on the internet in general. Just remember, remember to do that. So you can write your... Um, blog there on LinkedIn where people can see it and then you publish it there on the top and that works really well for SEO and it's very good for your image in general in a professional space whereby people see you as the expert and you're positioning yourself as the expert in the area that you work in okay <clears throat> so that's a very important way of using LinkedIn the other way then I'll just go to me part and I'll just go to my profile and you can have a cover image again and you can either have then an image and I would recommend this for all your social medias you get a professional image done like a smiling photograph from the kind of shoulders up and um, 
a smiling image in particular and you might laugh but essentially it's about people making snap judgments and if they see you smiling it looks like you're welcoming helpful easy to deal with if you're looking grumpy maybe not so much and people literally um have studies have shown where they've gone away from websites where people aren't maybe necessarily smiling or they might choose somebody uh, from a competitor that is kind of just seems more amenable so here your real estate really here then to be honest is this part here which is you know what do you do and some people put nothing in here or they just say horse trainer for example but if say what type of horse training it is is it thoroughbreds is it you know uh, sport horses is it show jumpers is it dressage you know what is it be extremely explicit here and where you go to change that is then you just hit that pencil and you go in there and you can change um what it is you want to do so then you go on down here and obviously i filled mine out quite a while ago um so i don't need to change it there um but this is what it looks like so um says i've nearly well, I have three thousand followers or something so i've over time i have worked on um ensuring that i've engaged with people over the years and that means then if i'm promoting something um or i'm pushing something out or even just trying to get my brand or my business or my name out there people will see it because i'm already connected to them so i keep sorry i keep scrolling down fast i forget people don't know so that's your real estate there fill that out and then if you start this process, it'll actually guide you through it, but I've already done it. So it's it's um, suggesting different things to me. Um, so it's saying that I should keep my profile current. Um, all of these um, social media accounts are always trying to get you to do something. And what they're trying to do is get you to engage with their app all of the time. Um, but usually when you have your, your um, LinkedIn profile filled out, you don't tend to do much afterwards. So this activity, so if I've shared, liked or commented, I can do that i can start a post from there as well if it suddenly dawns on me to write something there this part is important here you fill out your about your about is like years ago if you were looking for a job or even nowadays and you put a brief note with it just saying it's like an introductory note and here it is so you can see only the first three sentences are showed here i actually have a lot longer there but remember only three sentences are shown in other words you need to put the most important things in the top three sentences because people most likely won't hit see more then i have my experience in and this is literally like your cv so what is the most um recent job that you've had i do a lot of lecturing in ul uh in digital marketing and in strategic brand management which actually i have not included there and i need to do so um and then just basically whatever you've worked in and the reason you're doing this as well as you're filling it out partly because when people are checking out who you are they'll see your qualifications or where you've worked your background and even if you've got you work in multiple areas don't worry about it put it in there you know if you've got an education put it in there as well if you volunteered put that in um, and then you've got skills here and you can see the pencil here for all of these if you want to change and you click that pencil left click it it will allow you to change it so i've the maximum you can select is 50 skills and those are 50 skills in relation to what you do please make sure you fill this out because this is part of search engine optimization with how people find you so i filled them out ages ago and um i have them there and i don't need to because you can see people endorse me but the important part nearly isn't the endorsement it's more that you fill them out because that's how people find you then you have recommendations and these are really powerful um, and you've got to actually ask for them. So make sure that you're intermittently at least asking people for um, for um, recommendations, because, you know, when I first started working for myself, for example, I wasn't sure who to get as an accountant. I went on to LinkedIn. A guy in Limerick had um, 10 different uh, recommendations. And I figured, look, if 10 people were, you know, able to give him a recommendation and didn't mind doing so on a public platform then i was happy to work with him and i did so so you know it's worth doing it in that context okay so that's the main part of linkedin i hope that helps and um, i strongly recommend that you do use it so for example i'll just double check i'm pretty sure the fei is on here so the fei and horse sport ireland and you know a lot of the bigger organizations will already have um their you know their marketing going from here i suppose the reason i'm saying that is you know if you're feeling this isn't for you or is it for you um they actually do use it and the reason they're using it obviously is because it works and people do see it the other part you have to remember as well if people are buying or selling horses or in particular if they're you're looking to sell horses you know it's about you know anybody that's on here typically is working therefore they have disposable income and it's about affordability and so on and so forth so this is a really good space to be marketing in particular actually if you were marketing uh, particular horses or stallions or whatnot because it's not really done in this space yet so 
I mean, there's no reason why you can't do that. So my internet is a bit slow, but you can have a look yourselves about FEI, Horseport Ireland. You know, you can, so you can post as yourself personally and also as your business, whatever that is called, or if you just want to use the personal profile. What I would say to you is, even though you have a, a professional um, LinkedIn account linked here, like you would on Facebook, you know, you're really using your personal one. It's mostly the personal one that you're going to use because people connect with people, not always with businesses. They want to know the person behind it. So usually that's the way it works on LinkedIn. So look, thank you very much. If that I hope that helps. And if you have any questions, please feel free to come back to me.